Hi, and welcome to this introduction to ProDS, the intelligent ds plugin from FabFilter. ProDS can be used for traditional single-channel ds in wide-band or split-band modes, for ds full mixes with stereo linking and mid-side options, or for more creative high-frequency compression and limiting. I'll start with a single-channel example. This was a live session with Pistola Kicks, recorded in a cave called the Devil's Arse. So, let's DS the lead vocal channel using the default single vocal style. This uses a special intelligent algorithm with an uncanny ability to separate sibilant S sounds from other high frequency content. The scrolling waveform display highlights the sections that have been de-essed and provides a visual indication of how often the processing is occurring. While the red gain reduction meter to the right shows how much ducking is occurring with a resettable maximum readout at the top. And I can now adjust the depth of the processing using the range knob. With the single vocal style selected, the threshold controls how aggressively the de-essing reacts to sibilant S sounds. The higher the signal bounces above the threshold, the more ducking will be applied. And with the threshold all the way down, every S sound will be ducked by the maximum amount set with the range control. We can refine our settings further by adjusting the sidechain filters to make sure we're focusing on just the sibilant S region. The sliders include an analyzer display to highlight the most prominent frequencies. And we can also press the audition button to listen to just the filtered sidechain signal. OK, this was an easy example. Removing S sounds at the mastering stage is a much tougher challenge. So let's try processing the stereo mix instead. In this case, I'm going to switch to all round mode, which responds more like a normal compressor algorithm. And I'm also going to switch to split band instead of wide band. We're now ducking only the high frequencies instead of the overall gain. And the crossover frequency is determined by the high-pass filter setting for the sidechain. Circular metering around the threshold knob shows the sidechain levels, so it's easy to see when they bounce above your threshold. While audition triggering mode allows you to listen to just the S sounds you're removing, which may help you to fine-tune your threshold, or to judge your look-ahead settings to catch sudden T or S transients. As the vocal is panned to the middle of the mix, I'm going to restrict my processing to just the mid-channel by turning the stereo link knob up. Now I'm only removing S sounds from the middle of the stereo image without affecting the stereo sides at all. Clicking the stereo link mode button allows you to swap this around and process just the side channel if required. In this configuration, ProDS is basically a multi-band compressor, but with just a single band specifically optimized for upper, mid and high frequency content. This can be useful in other contexts as well as DSing. Let's listen to just the ambient mics. These are a widely spaced pair of Omni condensers, which captured the cave reverb quite nicely. However, there's a hint of splashiness from the cymbals in the loud sections of the song. Let's tune Pro DS to reduce this. I'll switch to all round and split band modes again. Then tune the high pass filter to about 3 kHz and drag the low pass slider all the way to the right to disable it. I can now tune the threshold and range to provide a suitable amount of high frequency limiting. In this case, it might help to turn the stereo linking knob the other way to allow the left and right channels to work independently of each other. This risks small shifts in the stereo image, 
but can provide a greater sense of openness and space. Dynamic processing of high frequencies in this way risks introducing aliasing artefacts. Enabling oversampling will dramatically reduce these artefacts in exchange for slightly higher CPU use and slightly increased latency. However, with no oversampling, look ahead disabled and wideband mode selected, ProDS doesn't add any extra latency at all, so it can be safely used in real time while tracking vocals. That's all I've got time for in this video. More information can be found in the comprehensive manual via the help menu. And as usual, you can enable interactive help links to see a pop-up description of each control you hover your mouse over. Thanks for watching.